When we speak about the companies that are involved in the COP27 this year, I had the chance to sit down with the head of the IMF earlier this week, and she spoke to me about how these things need to be financed. She said the private sector has to lead the way. As a business, though, what do you need to hear from policymakers? We need the policy to be a frame looking at the future. We live in a, in, a, in, a, in a world with a paradigm of the regulation that is based on the past, that is based on fossil-based alternatives. And that's okay. That's what we have. That's our history. But that hinders the speed of penetration of what is already available in a way which creates no value for anybody. Let me give you a couple of examples. If you look at uh, agricultural, it takes uh, in US two years to certify and to get the registered a bio-based solution that enhances the yield and replaces fertilizers and pesticides. In Europe, it takes seven years. Why? At the benefit of nobody, but that's a hinders, hinders the speed of penetration. If you look at the alternatives on how we can continue to replace chemicals on food, lead to healthier nutrients, plant-based alternatives, the speed of regulation and the process we have to go through, they are based on the chemicals. And that makes it much, much slower uh, for non-necessary benefits for the society and for the consumers. Mm -hmm. That's a space that the regulations can work, can help. We also embrace our responsibility to help. It needs to be a dialogue, right? It needs to be also the private sector stepping up. That's one of the reasons we're here and bringing the voice of what is possible. And another area that uh, I believe is extremely important is that we start subsidizing the future. Only stop subsidizing fossil-based alternatives. Only stop using uh, subsidiaries from the citizens to subsidize the past. Only rechannel that energy. That will also accelerate the speed of penetration of the solutions that they are part of the future. How encouraging is it that there's been such a focus at COP27 on agri-foods and on agriculture? Because we haven't seen as much of a focus in the, in the past. I think it's beautiful uh, that we're starting to see the interconnectivity on, uh, yes, we all live, uh, we want a healthy planet, and of course CO2 emissions and the reduction of that and the path to carbon neutrality is critical, but it's the whole ecosystem, the one that needs to be, from an end to end, take it in consideration. Biodiversity, agricultural, regenerative agriculture needs to be a strong component of that.